सो वेलकम टू यू ऑल सहयोगीज टू दिस ग्रेट कंट्री ऑफ योगा टूडे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू एस्टैब्लिश our desire within ourselves that we are seekers and that we have to achieve our full growth and maturity today's puja is for the whole universe the whole universe should be enlightened with your desires your desires should be so intense that they should emit out the pure vibrations of mahakali shakti which is the pure desire of attaining the spirit that's the real desire all the other desires are like mirage you are the people who are chosen by god specially first to express your desire and then to achieve it and by intense desire of purity you have to purify the whole world not only the seekers but even those who are not seekers you have to create an aura around this universe of desire to achieve the ultimate the spirit without desire this universe would not have been created this desire of god is the one that is the holy ghost is this all pervading power is the kundalini within it kundalini has only one desire is to be a spirit and anything else if you desire the kundalini doesn't rise only when it knows that this desire is going to be fulfilled by somebody who is facing the seeker it is awakened if you do not have the desire no one can force you you have to do only one thing is to become the spirit that's all is a simple thing the rest of it is my headache now the <coughs> problems that should take your desire on the collective should be very different <coughs> to substantiate your purity 
to be fragrant with your purity, your attention should be on the other side. Now you are not facing me, you are sitting with me facing the whole world. See, the whole attitude will change. The attitude should be, what can I give? How can I give? What is my mistake in giving? <coughs> I have to be more alert, where is my attention? I have to be more alert towards myself, what am I doing? What's my responsibility? You must desire that you should be pure, you should be pure desire, that means you should be a spirit, that what is your responsibility to yourself? You should desire that your responsibility to yourself should be manifested, should be complete. Then your responsibility to this Sahaja What is your responsibility to Sahaja which is the work of God, which has started, and you are my hands. You have to do the work of God, and you have to fight the anti-God elements, the satanic elements. You are not responsible for your family anymore, those who are, are the half-baked Sahaja Yogis, I said, are useless, absolutely good for nothing. All such will drop out, their families will suffer, I know this is going to happen. Because now the forces are gathering in such a way that sorting out will start. Your responsibility to yourself, to be the Spirit, your responsibility to Sahaja Yoga, your responsibility to understand Me, better and better and better. Your responsibility to understand this mechanism that is within you. Your responsibility to understand how this mechanism works out everything. The responsibility is to how to become a guru yourself. Your responsibility to be a dignified and a glorified personality. A responsibility to be a respectable person and not a cheap personality. Every one of you is worth the whole universe. If you want to rise to that height, Universes of universes can be thrown away at your feet. If you want to rise to that height, to that magnitude, that is within you to prosper. But those people who still want to live on a very low level cannot. For example, the Western Sahaja Yogis have certain problems of committing the sin against the mother, and the Eastern Sahaja Yogis have the problem of committing sin against the father. It's not difficult at all. for you to get out of it. The attention is to be kept pure. In Sahaja Yoga you know all the methods. 
how the attention one can keep it pure. If the attention is not pure, then this desire will be always attacked by all petty nonsensical things which has no meaning in your ascent. Now a person who is a good Sahaja is not bothered about clothes, what others say to him or what others are talking to him, how they are behaving towards him, and the attention is not on that criticism that this person is like this, that person is like that. Nor there is the aggressiveness of anyone else, because nobody is the other. But the problem is when I say that, no one thinks that I am saying about you persons. Those who are aggressive take the other role and those who are non-aggressive think the other way. Like I say something, for a person who is aggressive, the non-aggressive immediately thinks of the person who is aggressive, not about himself. You immediately start shifting your mind to other person, finding faults with other people. So this desire becomes gradually lower and lower and lower because of the loads that are put on it. So the alertness is very important, complete alertness, satarkata, that we should keep our attention purely for the sustenance of our pure desire. Desire comes from your heart and you are so built that your Brahmarandra is also the heart. If you don't have a clean heart, this won't keep clean. There are people who think if they talk about Sahaja big and all that, they are all right. They are cheating themselves. If the heart is not open, and this is closed. So try to open your heart by projecting it. Projecting it. I hope today when you do this puja and you do the worship of Mahakali and this special Yagya. We will definitely establish this aura and enlighten the universe. But your outlook should be how much I have contributed to this. Am I still thinking of other people? Am I still thinking of my petty small problems? Or I am thinking of my spirit. So the left side starts and ends with Sri Ganesh. Sri Ganesh has only basic one quality, that he is completely surrendered to his mother, he does not know any other god. He does not even know his father. He only knows his mother and completely surrendered to her. But this pure desire has to have the action and about which I'll tell you later as we will be having more pujas and more pujas. But today let us establish ourselves 
into that pure desire to be the Spirit. Now, as it is with the Western mind, we say, how? It's always come, how to do it? Should I tell you? It's very simple. Adi Shankaracharya wrote Viveka Chudamani <coughs> and so many other books of treatises. And then all these big intellectuals got after his life. And they said, <coughs> how this and how that and how? He said, forget these people. Then he wrote, Saundarya Lahari, just a description of his mother and his devotion to her. <coughs> and every couplet that he wrote is a mantra. It is not the surrender of your mind, through your mind, but the surrender of your heart. It is absolutely the surrender of your heart. 